just got a package in the mail and I am just jumping right into this I want to share it with you guys so badly and I'm gonna start off by saying that I'm not getting paid to say this I feel like I've been saying that a lot lately about several different things on my Instagram and on Frenchie's bakery but I have just been falling in love with small businesses and wanting to share it for you guys so I'm really really excited to share this with you all this is something really really special to me and it's something that I've been working on for a few weeks now the girls are all excited <laughs> so it involves the girls and it involves yellow and Savannah which is so special to me it makes me like really really emotional so I'm probably gonna have to edit a lot on this video because it like seriously makes me so flippin emotional so oh my brand is a company that makes pajamas and they put your animals on them and it is the cutest thing I came across them and I'm just so flippin in love and I was talking with Sarah and she is just the best we've been talking back and forth for weeks planning out these pajamas Mike has no idea about them by the way and um, she went on my Instagram and was it just became very personal and she saw that Savannah passed away and it was her idea to add her to these pajamas which was so amazing I try to like stray away from like making things involving Savannah anymore because I just get so so emotional um, but it is really really special and I'm really glad she came up with this idea um, and her name needs to live on I just need to like get over it and make her be a part of things still um, but I just like I said I try and stay away from it I'm gonna be open and honest with you guys people are like it gets easier but I'm gonna tell you the raw truth it does not get easier it only gets harder and it is absolutely awful I mean maybe one day it's gonna get easier I'm holding back waterfalls but it does not get easier like just talking about her makes me um really emotional Ooh! like these are just pajamas but it's so special to me because um this brand like you send them pictures of your dogs and they make like the artwork they have artists make it for you but I really wanted to share these with you guys because I know that they're gonna be absolutely adorable and Mike has no idea I've been keeping this a secret from him so I figured or I guess I don't need scissors I figured I would like get his reaction on camera because I feel like it's just really special that Savannah's on these pajamas and they have all sorts of different designs. So like I said, we've been talking for a few weeks now and she was just coming up with all these different things like you could put these dogs on this one and these dogs on this one and I wanted Mike to have a pair of pajamas with just yellow on them because um, that's his boy and yeah, I'm really excited. So the bag is open and all of the pajamas are in here and I'm so excited to see them. Okay, so let's see which ones do I grab first. Oh, so these are for Mike. So these are long pants. Oh my God, they're so comfy. Um, it's all of the dogs. You guys, they got them spot on. So like here's Piglet. Here's Savannah, here's Oatmeal, and then there's Yellow. It looks like he's winking, but it's really him not having an eye. <laughs> so these are from Mike. All of the dogs are on them. These are so flipping comfy. Here's the shirt for it. So Mike doesn't really wear pajamas, but I got these to like make content with and also to be special. Like our dogs are on the flipping clothes. It's so, so special. This is the one that just has Yellow on them. Look at that. And then here's the sh oh my god look at this shirt are you kidding me <laughs> look at him oh my god that's so cute <laughs> oatmeal this is artwork of you this is you right here you're on mommy's pajamas so these are shorts for me and then I think there's a cropped top to go with these shorts. I can't wait to wear these sets. I'm wearing them everywhere. Like, I'm wearing these in public. They are not just pajamas for me. I wanted to make one of my sets really special for me and really special for Mike. So, obviously, the one set for him has all of the dogs on them. And then the one, sorry, pig, I just hit pig in the face. And then the one um, just has yellow. For me personally, I wanted my first two daughters 
on them because Savannah and Piglet had this crazy, crazy bond. And I thought it would be special to just have one with just them two on it. So this is one of just my first two babies, Savannah and Piglet. And then here are the shorts to go with them. These are so cute. And I'm going to be posting so many pictures of us wearing them on Instagram, both mine and three bowls in a pod. So there's gonna be lots of content. I'm gonna try and make like unique reels wearing them and everything. So you guys can see us wearing them there. And I will also put Oh My Brands Pig <laughs> website down below, just so you guys can go check it out if you want. And Pig is making it all about her. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn off the camera and give them attention because they clearly need it. And then uh, we'll see Mike's reaction whenever he wakes up. All right, so what do we got going on here? Okay, so it seems to be a, big deal. a display. This what is going on? This is a company, it's called Oh My Brand, oh and my brand. Um, they make pajamas with your dog's pajamas. faces on them. So oh, that's fantastic. Look, he's got I one eye. set with Boog. This is really him. They make, you send them pictures and they do That's artwork. really cool. So I thought these were boxing shorts almost. They could be, I guess. They could be. Wow. Absolutely, wow, they could, could be. be my fighting shorts for our YouTube fights. Okay. Wow. And this one's a little bit more special. They went on my Instagram on their own, and they saw that Savannah passed away, and they wanted oh, to they include her. Oh, they put all of them on there. That's adorable. Piggy, Sam, Odie, Odie and Yellow. That's amazing. Wow, that is Doesn't incredible. Doesn't that look just like her? Yeah, it really does. It looks like all of them. I well, know. Yeah. A picture, I guess, but that's fantastic. Isn't that wow. so cool? That's awesome. Wow. Yeah, I'll wear those. What a <laughs> Cool. That's incredible. I thought That's it was incredible. awesome. Now we gotta get serious. It's crunch time. Tomorrow is Bobby and Tressa's wedding shower. So that is like kind of a new thing that is going on. My cousins did it a few years ago. Instead of a bridal shower, there's a wedding shower and people have like big barbecues and everything and men are involved. So I am the maid of honor of Bobby and Tressa's wedding. So I do some planning because that's what you do as a maid of honor. So I asked Tressa um, what she prefers and she said that she would really like to do the wedding shower kind of thing. So that's what we're calling it. So I've been preparing for it for months now, but a lot this week and I'm so excited about it. So this is like my storage closet with all of my decorations, but I have so many fall decorations. I figured we would make it a fall wedding shower because she loves fall. Bobby loves fall. They're having a fall wedding. So I thought having it like decorated with all sorts of fall stuff would be really, really pretty. So I have my best fall decorations here. I organized it all and put it in this container here. I got this pumpkin at Dollar Tree and then I just painted on a little F. It was a T, so I made it into an F. <laughs> And so yeah, I have all sorts of fall stuff there and things are just, they're getting real, they're getting crazy. I have some stuff hidden down here in case if Bobby were to like come over to film with Mike. So a bunch more decorations. And then I have little pumpkins over here with their wedding date painted on them. So I'm gonna put them in order. So 10, 16, 21. And it's just, oh my God, I'm having so much fun with this. You guys know me with parties. <laughs> and then my mom always loves having balloons at any party, like that's her thing, that's her touch. So she got some balloons for it, which match amazing because they're orange and gold. And then Bobby and Tressa really want money to go towards their house build and towards their honeymoon. So they asked for that on their registry. So I made this little pumpkin and painted cards on it <laughs> and put some gold on top just to, I love the gold accents and everything for the look that I'm going for. And then Mike cut this little hole in it. That's why it's uneven. No, I'm just kidding. He was very upset about that, but it's okay. I was like, it's rustic. That's the whole point of this party. It's totally fine. So since people are gonna be getting money, I thought like a lot of cards. So this is where all of the cards will be going. I just finished making this pumpkin. So I got a bunch of flowers and just like stabbed holes into the pumpkin and put them around it. And I think it looks really, really cool. We're gonna be doing the party at a winery. I rented out like this big wedding tent thing there that they had and they set it up for you and everything, which is really awesome. So it's gonna be really cool having it at a pretty winery. I've never been there, but I heard it's absolutely gorgeous and the pictures look amazing. So just a bunch of fall stuff all these decorations and I made some fresh brownies. I'm gonna make some chocolate chip cookies tonight and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'll obviously show you guys the whole entire setup tomorrow. So I'm gonna go like an hour early, set up everything and then we're gonna have a good evening. 
So really quick, I have Bobby's mini chocolate chip cookies in the fridge ready to go to be baked off because they're his favorite. And then this is going to be the cake at the party. Don't mind that cake, that's another thing. <laughs> but yeah, really, really fun. I'm so excited. So of course I will bring you guys along. I'll show you everything. And yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I feel like I'll bring you out whenever it's like all decorated because whenever it's time to like get ready for something, I get so stressed out because I'm such a perfectionist. So I'll be all sorts of stressed out until it's like done and then I'll probably whip out the camera and show you guys everything. Okay, we made it. Here's the bride, the woman of the day. <laughs> Everyone's here. It was very stressful setting up, but we did it. Here's here's the groom of the day. So, big deal, we're gonna go have lots of fun and eat lots. We should eat the cake first because it's already melting. so fast we were here for three hours and Bobby was like if it was the real wedding we would have two more hours left and I was like that felt like three seconds so the wedding day is gonna fly by which I know because weddings are so much fun oh my god there's a Frenchie in that car <gasps> look at it you guys probably can't see it but it's looking out the windshield so cute we're going home to go see our babies you miss them I'm so tired but yeah I miss them yeah Mike is so I tired the, so for people that don't know why like what is wrong with him I did the I had to wake up at like 4:30 today to go to the Savage Garage uh, send off, and you didn't. He didn't sleep last night. And I really, I could, I don't know why I couldn't fall asleep. So I'm, I'm on like an hour of sleep. Yeah. So Mike's gonna go home and take a nap, and then uh, we'll probably have some people over and have like a fire and hang out tonight, and eat the rest of the food that wasn't eaten, and have a good time. So today was very special, lots of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.